Are you a professional? <laughs> Are you? That's it, Clark. Sure moves, boss. Oh, we're all in this together! Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the Clark Griswold YouTube channel. I am Mr. Clark Griswold. I am happy to have you guys here. And if you are a first timer to the channel and to the videos, well then, welcome guys. I appreciate having you guys here. Um, we here as a group with the Strat at the Clark Griswold channel. We learn and earn together, okay? So if you've subscribed already, I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. I'm trying to grow and build something here for the community and to help get information out. So I thank you guys for subscribing. If you haven't done so, you can do so below. Click that subscribe button and hit that bell. That bell gives you notifications for when I send out videos like this one, our learning tools for the Strat, or I send out daily setups, weekly swing setups, monthly swing setups, like I said, learning tools, motivational videos, informational videos, all kinds of stuff. So subscribe down below, click that bell. You can also follow me on Twitter at Mr. Clark Griswold. You can tweet at me there. You can DM me there. You can ask me anything you need there. You can also do the same thing in the YouTube videos, okay, in the comments down below. And I usually get back to you guys within the same day. Um, so today, I just want to go through entries and exits with you guys uh, when we're dealing with the strat where we get in, where we get out, and where you can, you know, potentially put your stop losses, okay? So, let's get at this. We'll start out. This list that I'm going to go through, or these setups, these plays that I'm going to go through, are our Lotto Friday top five picks that I put out on April 8th, okay? So, we did really well with that top five list. I just want to go through it with you guys and show you guys where you could have taken your profits and where you could have had your stop losses, okay? So let's get to it. The first one I've got on the list is XOM. That's Exxon Mobile, okay? So we had an outside bar on the Thursday. Now these yellow lines that I've got in here represent our triggers. Trigger meaning that that's where we are getting into the play, okay? So if it would have gotten into this trigger down below, we would have got in here for puts on option plays, okay? Um, not on common shares unless you know how to short a stock, but on, on options. So we would have triggered here and we could have taken our targets to the green line. So it did go to the upside. We had a fairly good knowledge that this was going to go to the high side based on this time frame continuity, okay? The day, the week, the month, the quarterly, and the yearly were all showing green. If you guys want this indicator, go into your indicators tab. Uh, type in time frame continuity and it's by board rider B. Okay, so when we got into this play, guys, we triggered this yellow line here, okay, at 8546. That was our signal to get into this play. Now, with options, we take the clo I take the closest expiry date, which would have been the Friday, and the strike price I would have taken at 86, okay. So we were at 85.49, 85.46. My strike price would have been 86. So we jump into this play and we just watch it. And this first green line here is our first target. And I know it's a fairly close target. It's tough. I wouldn't have taken profits there, to be honest with you. But how we find our targets, guys. Actually, let's start with where we find our triggers. Our triggers are the, the top of this wick of this outside bar. So... If it's an outside bar, if it's an inside bar, we're taking the top of the wick, okay, or the bottom of the wick if it trended down. But in this case, we take the top of the wick, and then our first target is the top of the preceding wick, okay? So not here, here, obviously, right here, and it's on the same time frame. Then we go to find our next target. We just go back in time, okay? There is our next target. And then we go back in time. There is our next target. This I wouldn't have taken. It's the next preceding wick that is higher and higher and higher, okay? Um, 
and that that guys is how we find our targets okay so as we go through this we hit trigger hit first target hit second target now as we hit this second target if you guys only have a couple contracts this is where i would get out um, even in this range here if you got your 10 15 20 percent and you've only got a couple contracts i would potentially look at at getting out and taking my money and building up my account okay and then once you get to the point where you can buy 10 contracts or five contracts or eight contracts then you can sell you know 75 percent here a half here and try and let the rest run up to this third target okay so that's how i would play it if you have a few contracts you get to that 15 20 percent plateau get out if you have a few more contracts feel free to stay in okay you i mean you can stay in guys um and here's the thing so here's the way you would stay in okay so we hit this first target and then we start trending up well maybe make that your stop loss okay originally your stop loss when we're dealing with this is either at the bottom of this this wick here or the bottom of this bar okay and that's how i would play it um either either way uh, the risk management is up to you guys but that's where i would have had my stop loss either here or here okay so now if we're trending up on this and we pass our first first target and we start trending up make this target your you're out your stop loss okay because then at least you're leaving with some profit if you hit this here and i mean you can go back on the smaller time frames if you hit this first second target here well make this halfway point right here your stop loss okay and then you're still leaving with money okay if, if that's the way you want to play it and you want to keep your two or three contracts that you have and then if we hit this target here well then right here this second target becomes your stop loss okay and if we trend up higher then this becomes your stop loss okay so there is a way to stay in the play if, if that's the way you guys want to play it there's a few ways to do it you can either pull out your money at your 15 or 20 percent you can wait till you hit your targets and pull out your money then or you can hit your targets and move your stop losses up okay any of those make sense to me and any of those will work if you have questions about those, you can put them down below and uh, I'll help you guys out with that. If you like the video so far, give me a thumbs up. I'm going to move on to the next play. Etsy, E-T-S-Y, was another one. So this one went to the downside. And did we know this was going to go to the downside? We had a pretty good idea that it was based, again, on the time frame pointing to the downside. So we had another outside bar. We, break, we play the high or the low, whichever breaks first, which wherever we break the wick first. And we broke to the downside. Okay, we triggered. We're into the play. Now, again, to get into this play on option plays, um, 118.97, I'm probably taking the strike at 119, or sorry, 118 is probably where I'm taking that strike, okay? And again, expiries, the same thing. I take them day of or closest to so this blue line here was our monthly swing we're not going to get into that but it's also our trigger or our target our first target okay so again we hit first targets <coughs> excuse me we hit first targets and if you only have a couple contracts by all means you can get out of the play okay and take your 20 30 15 percent whatever it is if you want to stay in the play you can now, instead of having your stop loss here or here or at the top of this wick here, you can now move your stop loss to your trigger. And at least if it reverses on you, you haven't lost, you didn't lose anything. You just didn't make anything, okay? Or, you know, pick a spot in between. Pick a spot in the middle, okay, where you want to take your stop loss. Okay, so if you would have stayed in this play, we hit second targets, okay? Okay. So now that we've hit the second target, you can move your stop loss to the first target. Or you can just take your profits, guys. And a lot of times what happens is we will hit these targets. And you can go back and, on a ton of my videos and, and look at it. We'll hit these targets and it'll shoot back in the opposite direction. So again, you can take your profits here or you can sit on it a little longer. 
If you sat on it a little longer, you would have made a little bit more. We passed through that second target. Well, now your second target becomes your stop loss, okay? It's, it really is that simple, guys. There's, there's not a lot to, to using the Strat and playing with the Strat. Um, Moderna is another one. So we, this is an inside bar example. Okay, so on the inside bar, and I really like the inside bars, and if you watch my videos, you know I do. Um, and this is one of the places I said I thought would do really well. I was really going to watch this one. So Moderna, again, we take the high or the low of the, of the inside bar. That's where our triggers are. Okay, so on Moderna, we triggered, okay? We didn't hit any of our stop losses originally, which would have been here or here. Okay, so we, we trigger here. And we jump in, we hit first target. So again, you can take your money there and be out of the play. Or you can just move your stop loss up to your trigger. And that way you leave the play with no money if it reverses. But you didn't leave with a loss. Okay, so then we hit, this is, this is a good example here. So I've got second, third, and fourth targets and fifth targets here. But you notice there's no top of wicks like there is here. So how did I get those? Well, we go into the one hour chart. This candle, this candle, this candle, all these candles from the white bar on this way did not exist prior to, okay? Prior to this, this setup being in force. This was our trigger. So what I've done is this was our original target that we got from the daily chart. Okay, so now we're on the hourly. We take our next wicks here, 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 here. You can keep going up here and here. So you go on to a smaller time frame and you find those um, tops of wicks. Okay, so if this one was a little confusing for you guys, again, comment down below. I'll help you out. So that's where these intermediate targets come from. So what happens on Moderna? So with Moderna... We come in and we hit first targets. So again, move your stop loss to here if you want, take your profit. We hit second targets. Now if we've hit second targets, take your profit or move your stop loss to here. Hit third targets, move your stop loss. Fourth targets, move your stop loss. We've hit fourth targets and it continues going up. Well now this is your new stop loss, okay? And this would have been the most or I guess the least you would have made, okay? The most would have been at the top of this wick. The least would have been right here. Okay, and I want to show you guys one more. <coughs> Excuse me. So Keurig Dr. Pepper was the only one out of the top five that didn't actually work for us. Okay, so what happened here is we ended up breaking, but we did not trigger, okay? This red line that I put in would have been our stop loss. So this big bar here bottom of this big bar and you guys are out of the trade and you have a small loss but if you were in on any of those other plays guys you would have had a great lotto friday it would have been an awesome it would have been an awesome day and uh you would have had one loss here and it would have been a small loss okay and that's what we like to do we like to win small consistently and keep our losses as big as we possibly can, okay? Sorry, small, not big, small losses. That's basically what we're looking at when we're dealing with the strat, okay? The candlesticks tell us everything we need to know. That's nothing else. This candlestick, if we go to XEL, for example, that was another one that we had on the list, okay? And XEL, this is actually a really good one to go through as well with you guys. So XEL had an inside bar, and again, I love inside bars because they show consolidation and the stock gets tightened. The range gets tightened. We don't break the high or the low of the previous candle. It's consolidating, it's getting spring loaded, and it's getting ready to explode to one side or the other, okay? And that's what happens here. We hit the trigger, we hit first target, and again, this one I said is another interesting one. We hit, this is what we call a broadening formation. I'm not going to talk about it in this video. Maybe in a future video, I will have it in there. But a broadening formation, okay? So that's what we do. Higher high to a higher high to a higher high, okay? It tags it exactly. <coughs> okay, so that's how we do it. Higher highs to higher highs and lower lows 
to lower lows. That's a broadening formation, and that's how all stocks work. They work in broadening formations, okay? So at some point, this thing is going to retrace to a lower a lower low. It's, it's going to come down and hit the bottom of the broadening formation. But again, like I said, guys, uh, this is not, it's not a coincidence that this happened, okay? That we broke through our target, tagged the broadening formation, and then retraced, okay? It's not a coincidence. And we'll go through that in another video. Um, I don't want you guys to get overwhelmed with broadening formations, but for this video, we triggered, we hit our target, you can move your stop loss up to here, you can take your money, um, I'm okay with either one, you guys should be okay with either one. If it continues to go up through this target, well, now move your stop loss to here, to your first target, okay? And and that's it. That's, that's all we really got to do. Um, once we trigger, you can move your, your stop loss to that trigger point, okay? And it's, it's that easy. Um, that's it, guys. That's how we do entries and exits on the strat. And I, I hope you guys learned something and are learning stuff with these videos. I put them out to help you guys and... and my my gratitude my gratitude to you guys for watching the videos is is through the roof and i get my joy from getting messages from you guys telling me thank you so much for what you do this is what i did today or this is what i did yesterday i was about to quit trading and and then i found your videos and it's made it so much easier that's that's what i love to to read and hear and see okay so if you guys like the video um please um Give me a thumbs up, follow me on Twitter, um, subscribe down below. I put out these videos daily for you guys um, to help you guys learn, and we learn and earn together, okay? So if you guys are watching this on the weekend, have a great weekend, or during the week, have a great week, have a great trading day if it's the following day, okay? Um, I'm just, I'm really grateful to be able to do these videos for you guys and, and help everybody out that I am. So thank you guys, and we will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.